Hi darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Taurus. And this is a weekend check-in. I will be using my Everyday Witches Tarot. And to clarify, I'll be using the classic tarot. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have to do some, make some changes. Not that they're not going to affect my videos or anything. Um, but I may go live a little bit more often. I plan to start back my my art. I want to start back pouring. I am self-taught, made many mistakes, and every mistake was a beauty in itself. But I really want to start back. Two things I truly love, aside from my family and my animals, of course, um, and myself. Um, I love doing what I do, giving you guys messages. And I also love creating art. So, I'm gonna start back. I look at my schedule. I gotta do some rearranging in here. But it will happen. So darlings, this is for you. The devil, what is going on? The strength card, whatever it was. You got your courage and you overcame. The devil and the strength card. There was something unhealthy in your environment or maybe it's still there but you're gaining your courage or you've gotten the courage now to face it head on the ten of pentacles coming into some money it's gonna also mean domestic love it could mean so many things it could having enough to take care of your family the three of wands Expecting something new not too long ago. You were expecting or looking for something. But whatever it was, it has you in your head. You're so deep within your thoughts or within yourself, you can't even see what's being offered to you. You're oblivious to it. Oh, but... We have the Ace of Wands. This is about new beginnings, inspiration, creation. It could also mean fertility, but <clears throat> could be that you've gotten a creative spark. Something has motivated you. You got the Page of Wands here. You're looking, you're waiting for something. You're expecting something, aren't you? It's gonna come. That happy family, that money. You got rid of that devil, right? That could be anything. That could be so many things. It could be anger. It could have been a bad situation for you. It could have been your past trauma that you've been holding on to. It could be addictions. It could be so many things, you know? So many things, obsessions, jealousy, 
anything that's not nice, you know. Then you got the Wheel of Fortune. Is that what you're waiting for, babies? Your fortune, darlings. The Knight of Pentacles. You're going after the money. You got a routine down. And the lovers. Okay. Some choices about love. So let us see. Let's clarify. So I asked what was the devil, you know, what the clarification was for the devil. I think it had some kind of decision to do with, or it, it was a difficult decision. Um, I got the two of cups and the three of cups. You found the strength to overcome whatever it was. Now the cups, just thinking this had something to do with love or maybe an over-celebration. But you had the strength card. This was someone that was in your environment. It was a very difficult decision for you to let go of, for you to make that choice. But you found the courage to do that. I got the Knight of Pentacles, you're hardworking. I got the King of Swords. Now, this could be uh, air energy in your environment, a Gemini, a Libra, or an... Um, Or an Aquarius. Slow and steady is your pace. You can achieve your dreams, okay? And I think you thought through all, every, every perspective, every possible way before making your decision. It seems like you got a little extra responsibility after the decision, but that's okay. Especially if you really and truly did move yourself out of an unhealthy situation. So we got the Knight of, of Pentacles, the King of Swords, which could be an energy as well. And um, the Ten of Wands. You may be struggling a little bit with it, you know, but that's okay. You're aware of it and you're making progress. On top of the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Star card, you got the Nine of Wands, and you got the King of Cups. Now, the Star card is about keeping the hope, the faith, and everything, and just picking up the pieces and keep on moving, you know? You're strong. You know that. So, don't give up. You keep your eye on the prize, and you keep moving forward. You got a lot of courage you're, and you're very resilient. And you're feeling balanced emotionally or this is an energy in your environment. A Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. The Star, the Nine of Wands, and the King of Cups. So in the past, something happened. Something you were expecting. 
You got the Four of Swords, you got the Four of Cups, and you got the King of Pentacles. Maybe something to do with money. You saw, you can solve everybody's problems, but your own King of Pentacles actually would be you too, Taurus. You solve your, oh, you solve your and other people's issues in a practical way but you're deep in thought about something you see you got the four of cups as well here and you got it down here you're deep in thought you've been deep in thought for a while whatever it was you've been waiting on you've been thinking about it maybe you even took a little break for a minute you know the four of swords the four of cups and the king of pentacles And you got the Four of Cups up here. Top of the Four of Cups, you got the Four of Wands. You got the Six of Cups and you got the Wheel of Fortune. So the Four of Wands is about happiness and celebration and happy family. I think you're not even aware that there's so much happiness around you because you're stuck in the past for some reason. But there's happiness and you need to see it. There's a lot of love. I got the Wheel of Fortune here. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So whatever happened or took place in the past, you need to do a little bit of healing if that's the case. <clears throat> new feelings. It could mean new feelings spirituality, intuition, new baby, so many things, but you have, you have a lot of um, good fortune on your side. You got the wheel of fortune here too. You need to start healing so you can start bringing in that good luck if it ain't there already. All them beautiful things you're thinking about, you need to get rid of that negativity around you. Every time new beginnings coming, something is going to inspire you. It's going to take you to calmer waters. You're going to feel a little stuck at first, you know. And you might be thinking about or worrying about the money, you know, finances. But you got You can't worry about that because whatever it was that, you, that is around, whatever is around you or whatever happened in the past, your financial part will be taken care of. But remember, again, this is all up to you, Okay. Anything can change at any moment. And these aren't etched in stone. We have free will. One little decision. One little thought. And we can change the whole thing. So we have the six of um, swords. The hanged man. And the seven of pentacles. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about your finances. Maybe, but the card says looking back and what you have achieved gives you the learnings, learning to set your goals. So maybe that's what's going to inspire you by looking back sometimes. Maybe looking back and healing. But don't worry about the money. So whatever you were waiting for, it had a little conflict with it. <laughs> I got the judgment card. You felt revitalized. Um, the Five of Swords says sometimes the victory is not worth the cost. So you choose your battles. You know what I mean? Actually, just walk away from an argument. I mean, if somebody, you know, that's a whole different ball game. But then again, you see, I don't like to react either. Because I know myself. But I'm nobody's punching bag either. See, the thing about it is, you don't want to wait till it's too late, till you get so deep into something that you can't get away from, you know? I don't know where that came from. Maybe one of you needed to hear that. Um, 
I got the Five of Swords, the Judgment card, which is about you doing some self-evaluation, maybe after this argument, or maybe there was some kind of inner conflict. Maybe that's why whatever you were waiting for didn't come as yet. And the Queen of Pentacles. This is you, Taurus. You're back in the present. The Five of Swords, the Judgment, and the Queen of Pentacles. And you got the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Pentacles. Let's see what's going on here. Ah. You're struggling with whatever this devil is, aren't you? You're having a struggle. You have a lot of inner strength. I got the eight of swords. This is something you put yourself in. Okay, darlings. We sometimes put ourselves in situations and we tie ourselves up. Thinking that it's love. Because I have a feeling this is about love as well. And then when we get it, it's not what it really was all supposed to be, you know? It changed. Know your worth, okay, babies? Start healing. Whatever this is here, <clears throat> you tied yourself up. You got yourself in a situation. This could be an unhealthy environment for you. It could also be an abusive relationship, okay, babies? Listen to me. Sometimes we can run. I ran. Okay. I know things have changed today. I wouldn't even know how to do that today. I would have to do research, you know. So look at your options. Look at your options. You do have um you do have some choices, but you're not seeing them right now because you're in your head a lot. So you're thinking thoughts, but you're not seeing them, okay, babies? So this message is for whoever it resonates with, all right? Then you do have some options, baby. There's somebody offering something, but you're not seeing it right now. So I got the Eight of Swords, I got the Strength card, and I got the Devil again. It could be something you're holding on to that's, that was traumatic for you that you haven't healed from. It could be addiction, temptation, whatever. It could be destructive behavior. It could be the relationship or the situationship you're in. You think they'll change. And their promises of change. And they may change for a couple of days. But then things go back, right? That might be the situation. If that's the case, baby, you need to take and go within. You got the judgment card. You go within you. And you start healing. And start figuring out why is it that I allow myself. And please remember this message is for whoever it's meant for. Figure out why is it what? Go quiet. Go in with the question. Why am I allowing this? And you will find the answer. Okay, baby? Somebody needed to hear that today, okay? Now, you got yourself self tied up in this situation, but babies, you got a lot of strength, all right? You got the Wheel of Fortune. You got the Knight of Pentacles here. I mean, you're going after what you desire and what you've been... You have a routine down here going, but you got something heavy on you, and you need to get rid of that, and you know what it is. Whatever it is, you know. It's the Eight of um, Swords, the Strength card, and the Devil card. All right? And then you got the Lovers here. 
I don't know now if this has something to do with it. Let's see something here. You're gonna have clarity. You're gonna, I got the Ace of Swords, I got the Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. You're doing some manifesting. You're gonna become creative. Um, you may have some offers. You may actually see the offers that are being offered to you. Oh my goodness, I got you're gonna have mental clarity, all right? So you got the Ace of Swords, you got the Knight of Cups, and you got the Page of Pentacles. So what I advise is any negative thoughts that you have, um, try to change them into something positive, all right? So now let's see what's on top of the lovers here. We got the Hermit, we got the Five of Wands, and we got the Seven of Swords. So something came to completion for you. And maybe this too, the devil could be sometimes us holding on to something that's unhealthy for us. We're trying really hard, you know, and we're holding it. Holding on to something unhealthy. Uh, we have the hermit. We got the five of wands which is about conflict and debates back and forth arguing no this yes that i gotta get the last word no you gotta get the left you know it's not healthy and there seems to be a lot of betrayal and deception around you and that could be what the devil is signifying and you are aware of it you are aware and you go within and you're trying to find your way out and darling i think you will let's see what else let me pull a few more cards got the hermit we got the five of Five of Wands and the Seven of Swords. And it has something to do with love, all right? It has something to do with the lovers. And it might be a Gemini. Remember, we got um, the King of Swords up here, close to the devil here, when, when I first drew the cards. Yes, I got the Nine of, um, the nine of Pentacles, and you are going to be able to start enjoying your life. You're going to stop living your life for other people's enjoyment and in, start living for you. And I don't mean that in a selfish kind of way. I'm talking about in a loving kind of way. If you don't get the energy that you're giving out, because there got to be a balance, you know, not just because you want someone there that we will accept anything. And I'm speaking to both my masculines and feminine. Okay. And even to those who don't identify, I'm speaking to all you guys, everybody, everybody. But you got the nine of pentacles here. And you got the six of, six of wands. So I say, whatever is going on, you will overcome it. Yes, it's going to be a little bumpy. Ay, it's going to be, you know, but you got this. I love you. You take care of yourselves and start loving you. And remember, sometimes the messages resonate and sometimes they don't. But remember, I always do this with my heart. Bye.